As we explore abstraction and design in this course, we'll be using the OCaml programming language. OCaml is useful for this course because it has a relatively small set of basic language constructs, while also allowing us to program in a variety of different programming paradigms, including not only functional programming, but also imperative programming, object-oriented programming, and others. Once you have OCaml installed on your computer, you can start running the language's interpreter by typing OCaml at the command line. Once the interpreter is running, you'll see this hash symbol, which is the prompt. At the prompt, we can type an OCaml expression, and the interpreter will evaluate that expression for us. One example of a simple expression would be an integer number, say the number 28. We could type the number at the prompt, and follow that with two semicolons. The double semicolon in OCaml indicates the end of an expression. When we press enter, the OCaml interpreter will take the expression we've written and evaluate it. In other words, compute its value. Then the interpreter will print the result. In this case, for an integer literal, where we specified the integer directly, the value is the same as the expression we typed originally. But that won't always be the case. An expression can be more complex. For example, we could type the expression 2 plus 3 times 4, and OCaml will evaluate the expression and tell us that the result is the value 14. You'll notice that the interpreter is also telling us the type of the resulting value, in this case, an int. We'll talk more about types in OCaml soon. We can even define a function inside the interpreter. We might, for instance, define the GCD function that computes the greatest common divisor between two numbers. And once that function name is defined, we can use that name in later expressions. If we wanted to know the greatest common divisor of 20 and 28, we could write an expression to call the function on 20 and 28, and the OCaml interpreter will give us the result 4. So the interpreter works by reading the OCaml expression we type, evaluating the expression, printing the calculated value, and then looping back to give us a new prompt where we can type a new expression. For that reason, this whole system is often called the read eval print loop, otherwise known as the REPL. When you're done working with the REPL, you can type Control D on your keyboard to exit the interpreter. Ultimately, the REPL is often useful if you have some OCaml code and want to try it out interactively, typing expressions and observing the results. You'll likely find it a valuable tool as you start writing OCaml code of your own.